So, Kat, they want to know, um, what was the first time me and you encountered each other when we actually met? Because I'm so high, I can't remember. Right. No, no, that's because um, the first time that we met, I wasn't famous, so you couldn't remember who the I was. Because I wasn't nobody. But you, um, you treated me nice, and we had a real... Um, street level type conversation, which um, was helpful to me. And so the next time that I saw you, um, I was big enough for you to know who I was. And then I told you that I was going to um, be doing some work. And I told you what the work was. And then I showed you the bada boom, bada bing. And then that's when you said, I'm going to do it, which was um, for me, that, that one special sold 25 million copies, and um, that was, um, yeah, that, that, was, that was due to um, association. And so, you know, we have a, such a large history in Los Angeles going from death row to the new death row, Hello. you dig? Um, so, and I yeah. love you, Kat. I love you for always, for always being you and always being, you know, a smart, brilliant businessman. That's what a lot of people don't understand. To tell these jokes, you got to be smart and brilliant because you got to remember all of that. <laughs> you got to be able to, you know, be repetitious with it at the same time and fly in case somebody jump out of pocket. You got to be able to have something to say for them too. So your brilliance as a businessman, I respect that. On how you, I tell all the time when I came over to see you one time, you was like, I got a check from two years ago for three million dollars and I ain't even spent it yet. I'm like, this know how to hold on to old checks and shit, they still be good. Like, that shit was brilliant to me because my checks bounced like a motherfucker after the first week. Did I hear him cash that <laughs> Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> Even today. Bitcoin, baby. Get with it. Yeah, NFTs, baby. Crypto.